You confuse the hell out of everyone and you don't even know it. When you're trying to sell to someone, when you're working with someone, it's not clear. You're not doing a good enough job of actually explaining what people have to do or how it works and it's not predictable. And that lack of predictability, it confuses them. And they're too polite or they just don't care enough to tell you that this is something that you need to fix now. And so the reason why predictability is so important in everything that you do from a customer point of view, from a prospect and sales point of view, from a delivering it and getting referrals and everything else that you do, predictability is so important. When you make every single step completely clear, when people understand what's expected of them, they feel comfortable, they feel safe, they feel like you are guiding them through this really crazy process. I think we can all agree that it comes down to trust. People need to trust you. You need to be your authentic self. You need to have credibility so that way they can buy into what you're doing. And what erodes trust the most? It's lack of clarity, lack of understanding, and being super, super vague. Nothing erodes our confidence in someone more than them not having an answer to a question we have. Them saying one thing, and then a little bit later saying something else that kind of contradicts what they just said. Nothing erodes your trust more than that. This destroys businesses of all levels. You call up your internet service company and you ask for something and you don't really know how the process works. You don't know if they're gonna send someone out to fix it or not, if you have to do it yourself or not. And if they don't take the time to explain it, it leaves you nervous and uncomfortable and you have anxiety. When you're signing up for a SaaS or an online product or downloading an app, if they're not completely clear to you, step by step, what you're supposed to do and how it works. The drop off is super huge because people download stuff, they try something, they realize it's not what they thought and so, they delete it. If you're running a service-based business, let's say that you're a dentist and people don't understand how to book or how early to come into, do they bring their kids or not bring their kids and what are the insurance forms like and how do they, like if you don't explain all of that stuff and make it completely predictable, they won't come back. It's a bad customer experience. In your business, there are clients you've worked with in the past, so you've trained them really well, but the vast majority of new people that you wanna work with have never done it before, or they've done it a different way, and you can't take that for granted. So the first thing that you need to do is to start looking at your business and your processes and everything that you do as an outsider, not an insider. Don't assume that people know what you're talking about. Don't assume that they understand the process and how it's gonna work. Take the time to explain it. And if someone's like, yeah, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, then you can adjust. But for the most part, we don't explain things. We don't answer questions. And when we do, you know, a lot of times we make people feel stupid for even asking the question. Right? If they're taking the time to ask the question, it's a real concern, it's a real question. Don't make them feel dumb. Answer all of those questions. Second, make sure that you eliminate all forms of vagueness from what you do and how you do it. Now this isn't to say that you have to have a crystal ball or you have to imagine how everything will turn out, but you have to have predictable steps for when these surprises might happen. Let's say that you're an investment broker. So you work with people who have money, who obviously wanna protect their wealth, or grow their wealth, or hit certain financial targets. You don't have a crystal ball for how the market will work, of course, but how is working with you predictable? What is your process? What are the steps? What are the ways you think? What will you do in a situation that goes well? What will you do in a situation that doesn't go well? How will you respond to their requests? What will you do? If you make all of that as predictable as possible, they will have a lot of trust in working with you because obviously you've done it before. You have the experience, you have the process, you have the safeguards, and you've made everything crystal clear. And that will mean that they're more likely to stick with you and stay with you and refer you to their friends and family. But what do most people in investments do? They say, I, I don't know where the markets will go. They're pretty darn vague about their process. And so what I would like to know, if I'm gonna give you my family's worth, my net wealth, the things I've been saving for, the future dreams that I have on the line, I want things to be a little more predictable, please. Surely you know markets go up and markets go down and markets stay the same, right? So what will you do in those three situations? This is something that you cannot overlook in your business. And so what you need to do is look at your processes, look at how predictable you can be, look at how open and honest and transparent you can be and get this fixed today. I feel like this is an outtake for the ending right now.
<laughs> if growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.